actually so surreal. Um, I just woke up this morning and I was like, oh yeah, we just came second and everything. It was crazy. It's, I still can't believe it. It was fantastic and also um, we, Chris Hadfield was here today and my dad really, really loved Chris Hadfield and he stood in the queue for ages and the red coats were so nice they got us in to meet Chris Hadfield. So, um, so my, we, the whole, both of our families got a big group picture and he signed the books so we were so happy. Oh yeah, we've been working since August and it took, like we had to design the survey first and then we bought pictures and everything, it, was, it took forever to do it. And um, we were really, really nervous. But then towards the end, we just sort of got used to it because on the last day, we got 11 judges and one just came back to say hi. And um, but we got we got so much judges on the last day, so we were just sort of used to it by the end. Yeah, the big discovery would be that people aren't ready for this major change, and they're not expect they're expecting to retire earlier than the retirement age, which is now just currently 66 as of it increased last week. As they rated them younger in the pictures, we asked them how old did they think the pictures were. The more confident they were, the older they rated them, the less confident they were. But they were both judged to be 68. The woman just slightly older. And people think that people should no longer be obliged to work by 63.8 years of age. And 33% of our respondents think that people get old before 69. So the thing is that they think they're going to stop working before they get old, which unfortunately I don't think is going to happen to them. So much work, but as you can probably see, it's all that ends up to be worth it. So.